My name is Eduardo Montes Bradley. I'm a filmmaker, a writer, and a photographer. In the mid-1880s, Italians came to America, four million of them. And amongst those four million came several distinguished sculptors forged in the best academies in Rome. That is the case of the Piccirilli. The Piccirillis were masters of their craft. Giuseppe Piccirilli, the patriarch of the Piccirilli family, had been director of the School of Fine Arts in Rome. And there were sculptures and there were stone covers and there were engineers on the Lincoln Memorial. If you want to find the Piccirillis in New York, all you gotta do is go to the public library and you're gonna see the two lions, famed lions. Those lions are a trademark of New York City. But one thing you're not gonna find there is the Piccirillis signature. You're not gonna find it either at the Lincoln Memorial. And the response was very clear. We can't have the name of an Italian attached to the 16th president of the United States. They were discriminated for being immigrants. They were discriminated for being Italians. Not all of the Piccirilli work is unsigned. If you look at the USS Maine, that one is signed. The same thing happens with the Fireman's Memorial in Riverside. So yes, they were able to leave their signature behind, but most importantly, they were able to leave their artwork behind.